Underline the vectors in the following list of quantities density, energy, force, mass, velocity, and volume. A simple and direct question that belongs to general physics. You must memorize some quantities that are vector and others that are scalar. If you know some examples, you can easily find out that the force is vector, also the velocity is vector. Density, energy, mass, and volume, all these are scalar quantities. Another question. A stone falls from the top of a building and hits the ground at a speed 35 meters per second. The air resistance force on the stone is very small and can be neglected. Calculate the time of fall. Again, you don't have a graph. That's why you will depend on the equations of motion that you have memorized before. But let's before pick out our givens. The clearer given in the question is the final speed, the speed at which the stone hits the ground. This is V equals 35 meters per second. But there are many other givens in the question, but not in the form of a number. The first thing is the acceleration. Acceleration A, or you can say acceleration due to gravity G, since this question is for something that is falling, and the question neglects the air resistance, so you can say that the acceleration is 10 meters per second square, and this is a constant for anything that falls on Earth against no air resistance. This number is not given, but you must know it. Also, since the stone is left to fall, that means that its initial speed u was 0 meters per second. It was at rest before it is left to fall down. Now he wants you to find out the time. The most suitable equation of motion to use in this case is A equals V minus U divided by T. By a very simple small modification, you can see that T time equals V minus U divided by A. According to what were givens, V minus U is 35 minus 0 divided by the acceleration due to gravity 10. This will give you the time of 3.5 seconds. The next question. On figure 1-1, one, one, draw the speed time graph of the falling stone. Now you have a stone that started from rest, and after 3.5 seconds, it hits the ground with a speed 35 meters per second. So you will start from rest 0 and draw a straight line of constant acceleration. This straight line will reach a final speed of 35 meters per second after 3.5 seconds. Don't forget to draw a vertical line or a semi vertical line to indicate that the stone hits the ground. So its speed returned to 0 again and suddenly. This is how to draw the graph.